Hi, I am Carl DeVissa, a game designer at Grinding Gear Games, working on Path of Exile. The 0911 patch includes a significant redesign of the passive skill tree. This video will cover what is changing and why. The core function of the passive skill tree hasn't changed. When your character reaches a new level, you get to allocate a new attribute or passive ability. Both attributes and passive bonuses are available in the passive tree. Each time you go up a level, you assign a point into the passive tree. Starting from your class starting area, you select nodes that can improve your strength, dexterity or intelligence, or provide a passive advantage to your character. For example, early on you can get benefits like mana regeneration or melee damage. Later there are notable passives that give much larger benefits and keystones such as elemental equilibrium that provide large and rule bending changes to your character. Here I've switched back to the old 0910 passive tree. While this tree was well received by our players, we did know some new players found it overwhelming. We knew we wanted to reduce the early confusion for players. We also wanted to reduce the chance that a player could accidentally damage their character with early, apparently attractive choices. For example, if you allocated your first seven points in critical strike multiplier, your character may not feel powerful in Act 1. The most straightforward way to do this was to reduce the early choices to just the two strong on-class passives. Trying to remove the other starting choices without changing much else didn't work very well, and it soon became apparent we'd have to redesign the whole tree to support this change. This is the new 0911 passive tree, as well as reducing the initial choice to just two passives. The opening areas have been redesigned. Each is like a mini tree that provides strong early choices and core builds for each of the six classes. With the new design it should be very clear what the early on class options are for your class. While this promotes class identity and supports new players, we did not want to damage the interesting builds that players had already found, especially ones that involved crossing the tree or splashing into the other classes. We have done many tests with reproducing characters from 0910 on the new 0911 tree to make sure most builds can be supported. We have set up these early escape routes from the opening areas. These allow movement to other areas of the tree. They also provide early attribute splashing for equipping characters with off-class equipment. There are further attribute splash nodes which provide even more off-class attributes for building characters. These attribute highways provide fast access to the outside of the tree or towards the center of the tree. The center area has been redesigned. As well as providing general keystones and attributes as it previously did, it also provides a large section of very general nodes that can support most builds. Many builds use opening areas of other classes. We wanted to make sure that this is supported, but not too cheap on the new tree. We also wanted to make sure that it was an even but different choice between neighboring classes. For example, a witch can co-opt the Templar part of the tree for strong elemental builds, or the shadow part of the tree for strong critical or direct spell damage options. The outside part of the tree provides specialization. This is very similar to the old tree, with some tweaks. The outer tree can be accessed either, either after making use of the early class trees, or moved to directly through the splash routes for highly specialized builds. There are good supporting notables and keystones for many of the most interesting builds. We have, however, made the cost of moving across the outside and cherry picking all the notables and keystones more expensive. Getting the tree correct requires a lot of testing and balancing passive options. While we have learnt a lot from the past tree, the rebuilding of the tree means we need a lot of feedback from players' experiences with it. If you are already signed up for Path of Exile, please post any feedback on the forums. If you aren't signed up, please do so at pathofexile.com. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.